Hi, I'm Dr. Jane Yu, board certified dermatologist and Mohs surgeon. Since May is Skin Cancer Awareness Month, let's talk about a common thing I diagnose every day, actinic keratoses, or AK for short. Actinic keratoses are considered the most common precancerous skin condition. It develops years after sun exposure and usually shows up as rough, scaly patches or small, crusty bumps. These often appear in sun exposed areas like the face, the scalp, the ears, the neck, the forearms, or the hands. You might notice it visually at first, but you'll often feel a gritty texture when you run your fingers over it. The color can vary. Some are pink or red. Others are tan, brown, or even skin colored. The lesions might itch, sting, or feel sensitive to the touch. Occasionally, they can bleed or grow thicker, which may be a warning sign that they're evolving. Here's why they matter. Although actinic keratosis itself is not cancer, it has the potential to turn into squamous cell carcinoma, a type of skin cancer. We don't always know which ones will progress, so early treatment is key. The main cause? Chronic UV exposure from the sun or tanning beds. So people with fair skin, light eyes, and a history of sunburns are especially at risk. But anyone, really, who spends a lot of time outdoors without protection can develop these. The more AKs you have, the higher your overall risk. The good news is that we have many safe and effective treatments. We can freeze the spot with liquid nitrogen, apply topical creams to destroy abnormal cells, or use light-based options like photodynamic therapy for broader areas. If a spot looks suspicious, we may also recommend a biopsy to rule out cancer. But prevention is just as important. Daily sun protection makes a huge difference. This means using a broad spectrum sunscreen with SPF 30 or higher every day, reapplying regularly, and wearing sun protective clothing and hats. If you've noticed any new rough spots that just won't go away, or an old one that's changing, it's time to see a board certified dermatologist. Catching actinic keratosis early can prevent it from turning into skin cancer, and that's something we can absolutely stay ahead of.